Good afternoon. I am Mary Ritling, and I am proud to be president of Davidson County Community College and to be here today to celebrate what we think is one of the most exciting things that's happened on this campus in a long time because it represents a partnership and a collaborative and we're very, very excited about it. I also want to thank all of you for being here today. It's Friday afternoon, 1 o'clock. Many of you probably were thinking of other things to do, but you know how important this is, and so you're with us, and I really appreciate it. We have a number of people here joining us for this really historic event, and so I'd like to introduce them. Our county commissioners, if you'd please stand. And I want to thank them personally for all the time and energy and support they have given ECU and Davidson for this project. Our state legislators, I don't know if they're back from Raleigh or not, any of them here with us? They also have been behind the project and sharing with us their ideas and supporting us um, sort of behind the scenes to make sure this occurs. Um, any of our mayors are here today. I think Mayor Bennett may be here. Mayor Bennett from Thomasville, very grateful that you're here. We always have partnerships with our cities and it's important because the community college is the center of those relationships and we're so strong, um, we're a stronger college quite frankly because of them. Late and long, I, have, I want Leighton to stand up. Um, we already miss you, Leighton, okay? <laughs> but he is very, very important in this project, and I can tell you a little story. He called me once and said, can you come to the health department? And it was in the evening, and um, it was in a winter time a little while ago, and he said, we need to talk to you about the potential of having a dental clinic in Davidson County. And I thought, oh, I have never really done very much with the health department. And I'm thinking, oh, where's this going to lead? And also the uh, medical ministries was there as well. And that was really important meeting. And it got our wheels kind of turning about what we could do. And naturally, we saw the community colleges having being the centerpiece. But it's really Leighton who really brought us initially together. And so I really do want to acknowledge his hard work. Um, I do believe we have some representatives from the Senator's office, Senator Burr's office here today. Thank you, Ryan, for coming today and, and being here. Again, we do get recognition not only statewide but federally for the efforts that we're doing here at the community college. And that's extremely important. I want you to please share with the Senator our appreciation for having you be here today. Uh, Kenan Briggs is here today from our system office. I think some of you may know Kenan. He is the heart and soul and sort of the mover and the shaker in the system office and keeps us going in the right direction. He was paramount in the conversations between the system office and the community college to make sure that we could do this project on the campus along with Robert Powell who's standing in the background but really was one of also the people who kind of orchestrated this project. And of course the members of the um, Davidson Medical Ministry Clinic, members and staff, I don't know if they're here today, but I'd ask them to stand as well. I know Sandy is here. I really appreciate their hard work and this is really going to make a difference to so many of the citizens of our county that really do not have the opportunity to get the care that they need. Our trustees and our foundation board members of the college, please stand and be recognized. They give countless hours to this community college and their support of the college and also being a support to me to make these projects happen because oftentimes they, I'll come to them with an idea and they'll sort of look at me and oh my God, she's got another one. <laughs> but anyway, I mean our heart is always in the right place and it's really for the citizens of our community. And of course the faculty and staff, I mean I can stand up here every day and talk to you about the college but I'm only one little cog in the wheel. It's really the faculty and staff on a daily basis that make things happen at this college. And so for them, I acknowledge them as well and want you all to know that. It's not just about me, it's about them as well. So this is an exciting day for Davidson County Community College. Um, if you have been around me and also on the campus, I often tell citizens and I tell the students and I tell the faculty and staff the most important word in our name is community. community. And when we speak about community, we talk about a collaborative and we talk about being together and making a difference. This is another community effort. This is a community effort in which the community college 
the county, ECU, all the foundations that are out there have gotten together and said, we have to do something for our citizens. We have to make <coughs> Davidson County and Davie County a better place. And one of the ways of doing that is providing a quality of life. And one of the ways we do that is by making sure that individuals have excellent health care. And this is just one step in that direction. So it is my privilege um, to introduce Dr. Phyllis Horns from ECU, East Carolina University. And please welcome our partners from East Carolina. Thank you, Mary, and I can assure you on behalf of the Health Science Division at East Carolina University that we are as excited and thrilled about this project as Mary has just described. And, and as I can see from this turnout, this whole community is very excited about this project. And I really want to thank so many of you for coming in the uh, purple color for today <laughs> because I think that this is just the start of a great partnership. Our Health Science Division at ECU uh, is, is really made up of the College of Allied Health Sciences, the College of Nursing, the Brody School of Medicine, and now the new School of Dental Medicine. And I can't tell you how thrilled we have been to add uh, dental medicine to the programming offerings at ECU. It's a perfect fit for ECU. We have a very significant and uh, dedicated service mission at ECU and we take this uh, service uh, very seriously to all the citizens of North Carolina. So in, our, in my division, all of our programming is uh, directed toward rural health, it's directed toward service to the citizens of the state, and the model for dental education, which is quite unique and very creative across the country, which does involve partnerships with communities like this one, to really bring uh, dental care to the citizens of the state. So I can't tell you how pleased we are to be here. I'm just thrilled with the uh, turnout today. And uh, we just went over and visited the site and it is absolutely gorgeous as this entire campus has grown. I said to some folks earlier, I have not been to this campus in more than 20 years and it's really very different than anything that I remember. So uh, thank you all for being here and I'm very excited to be part of this program. It's my pleasure now to introduce our Chancellor, Dr. Steve Ballard, who is starting his ninth year with us. And his leadership and his passion for this school and for these community service learning centers has been a huge part of why we are here. And we are dedicated under his leadership to making these uh, partnerships successful and doing what we set out to do for the communities that we're in. So thank you, and Dr. Ballard. Well, thank you, Dr. Horns and President Rittling, and mostly thanks to everybody here. What a great turnout. This is, uh, I haven't been to every one of our openings, but I've been to most of them, and none come close to this level of uh, not just participation, but interest, excitement, and partnerships, because these kinds of things don't happen uh, just because we want them to happen. They take the hard work of dozens and dozens of people, and I think everybody uh, here has had a role to play in that. So. I want to especially thank the county commissioners of Davidson County. You made a huge difference in moving this forward. We know that. We appreciate that. We know it's not easy, but it's exactly the kind of thing that we needed to be able to do to move forward across these service learning centers so that they make a difference for the 50 counties of North Carolina that have too few dentists, by according to federal standards. And uh, it's our commitment in this dental school to make sure that we're doing all we can to uh, make a positive difference uh, uh, in that kind of uh, oral health care issue. President Rittling, you've uh, um, done uh, A++ work in moving this forward, and we can't thank you enough, but we will we'll continue to thank you, and uh, we want you to tell us when we need to do more and, and uh, how we can make this the most successful clinic we possibly can. So I want to publicly thank you because the hard work you've put into this is, uh, is extremely obvious. I won't uh, let uh, Dr. Chadwick in just a minute introduce uh, four students and members of the ECU School of Dental Medicine and Dr. Schultz and Wilson who've put so much into the entire uh, development of the dental school and I'll let uh, Dr. Chadwick do that. But we've been working on this since 2005 when the first concept paper went before the Board of Governors. 
Uh, it hasn't always been a smooth development of the ECU School of Dental Medicine. There have been a few times when we worried about it, but from the very beginning we said we were going to do the right thing for North Carolina uh, and uh, do the right thing consistently with uh, what the Brody School of Medicine has done and the School of Nursing has done and the School of Allied Health have done and many other parts of our university, and that is serve the underserved. Provide services to people that aren't getting enough service or in some cases aren't getting any service. So when the accreditation team for the American Dental Society came to ECU to review our plan a little over a year ago, they left saying the entire country is watching the ECU School of Dental Medicine. And they weren't, uh, uh, they weren't kidding on that. They were very serious that it's a unique model dedicated to a much different way of training students and a much a better way of serving the communities. Uh, as you, uh, I think, probably know, our fourth year students will not be, for the most part, in Greenville, North Carolina. They'll be in 10 sites uh, around the state, including this site, uh, providing dental services. So we're bringing the ECU School of Dental Medicine uh, to this county and to many others from Ahoski to Silva and Mitchell County and uh, many others. So uh, that's who we are at ECU. Our mission is to be a national model of regional transformation. That means that we're committed to communities. It means that we do all we can to listen to what the community needs are and try to match our educational programs and our expertise with those needs. And uh, we're very, very happy to be a part uh, of this county and of this community college. Uh, this one is going to be a huge success. Thank you all for being a part of that. Dr. Greg Chadwick of the ECU School of Dental Medicine, <laughs> Dean of our school. Where are you? Why are you hiding? <laughs> Thank you, Chancellor. It really is an exciting time to be here and to officially announce uh, Davidson County will be one of, our six, uh, one of our 10 community service learning sites for the ECU School of Dental Medicine. Uh, the site's going to be on the Davidson College Community, uh, Davidson Community, excuse me, Davidson County Community College campus right out here on Loop Road. And we had the privilege a few minutes ago uh, to go down and take a look at that site with the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. And that just makes today even much more exciting uh, for us. Uh, the discussions and due diligence that went into the decision took place over a number of years. These conversations is the, certainly the County Commissioner, certainly as Dr. Rittling knows, uh, these conversations have been going on for a, a long time. The ECU School of Medi uh, Dental Medicine was established in part to educate more <coughs> primary dentists uh, for our state. We also want to address the uh, shortages of dentists in underserved and rural communities across the state and to give educational opportunities to individuals from historically underrepresented groups, disadvantaged backgrounds, and underserved populations. We also see as part of our mission to uh, provide and enhance oral health services for North Carolinians through the creation of community-oriented uh, service learning centers and through interprofessional collaborations. The legislature made improved oral health a priority. Ultimately, it's becoming a reality with the establishment of the ECU School of Dental Medicine. Today, as an accredited dental school, we have approximately 60 faculty and staff. We have our inaugural class of 52 students on board, all of whom are from North Carolina, representing 32 counties. Um, and they're completing their first year uh, in June of this, uh, or excuse me, in July of this, of this year. Our second class has been selected, and we'll be welcoming them for orientation in August. As has already been mentioned, we have four of our students with us today. They're all from this area, and I would like to recognize them, and I'd like to ask them to stand, because I want you to recognize them, uh, and afterwards, when we're having a reception, uh, I hope you'll go up and you'll have a, an opportunity to speak with each one of them. Uh, because when you do, I think you're going to sense very immediately why we are so excited uh, about our future. <coughs> Kristen Carter, class of 2015. Kristen, if you would stand. Bridget Jones, also in our first year class, class of 2015. 
and Diana Lockhart, class of 2015 as well. Travis Moore is an incoming freshman, will join us in August in our class of 2016. So please give them a big round of applause. And although we have three from the class of 2015, there are 48 more or 49 more back at, uh, at ECU still in class today uh, who will be joining them. Many of those will have the opportunity uh, to take advantage of our service learning center, which will be here on the Davidson County Community College uh, campus. I'd also like to take a second and introduce uh, Dr. Maggie Wilson, our Dean of Student Affairs, who is with us today. Maggie, if you would stand up, and I'm gonna introduce a couple people here too. <laughs> Dr. Mike Schultz, our Director of Community Clinics, who will be really the hands-on person here in uh, Davidson County and establishing the clinic. Uh, Kristen Ward, our Director of Development for the Dental School. And then also here in the background, we have a number of folks, Mary Shulkin being one, who's our pub ECU Public Affairs uh, Coordinator, Mary, and she has a team of several people here today. So Mary, thank you. When we welcome our students back to campus uh, in August this year, we hope to be in our brand new 188,000 square foot Ross Hall. And if you look over here to the right in the center, you'll see the artist rendering of the new dental school down on the Greenville campus. To the lower right of it is the actual photograph. It, you can see it's, it's coming along and hopefully we're gonna hit that August, uh, August 1st uh, deadline. Our dental school is a statewide resource with a statewide footprint, and the community service learning centers are a significant feature of that resource and an <coughs> integral part of our dental school. Each of the service learning centers will be staffed by our dental faculty, students, residents, and other dental professionals uh, who will live in the communities and provide much needed care to Medicaid patients, to indigent patients, to sliding scale patients, uh, and also local citizens who do not have regular access to dental care. And as you know, the students will live and learn and experience firsthand practicing dentistry in, uh, in and across North Carolina. We're taking dental education and our dental school to the patients. We often talk about building, equipping, and wiring the fourth floor of the dental school, and then chopping it off cutting it into 10 pieces, stretching the wires, and moving the fourth floor of the dental school out into areas across the state. As you can see, our school does have a fourth floor, so this is just an example, but the fourth floor is not equipped for dentistry. The fourth floor literally is being distributed across the state uh, in 10 different, 10 different locations. Ultimately, as I said, there will be 10, and one of them will be right here on this campus. Davidson County joins five previously announced sites, Ahoski, which is in Hertford County, Elizabeth City in Pasquotank County, Silva in Jackson County, Lillington in Harnett County, and Spruce Pine in Mitchell County. The contractors as we speak today, and uh, Mike Schultz has been on his uh, iPhone here, speaking with them uh, from Davidson County, they're finishing their uh, their final touches on the Community Service Learning Center, our first uh, in Ahoski. That will be in operation this month. We'll have a ribbon cutting the end of this month uh, up in Ahoski, and we will have our faculty there uh, in June. We have our advanced education and general dentistry, a residency program, a new residency program. Our residents will actually be out uh, in Ahoski in July. And the second service learning center is under construction. The steel is up. That's in Elizabeth City. We hope to be in operation by the end of the year. And I know we've already acknowledged a number of these groups, but I would like to also acknowledge uh, some of the key partnerships in Davidson, in, in Davidson County and the surrounding areas because it's all about partnerships. It's all about connecting dots. And as you've heard others say, and especially the chancellor, we're about service, service to the people of North Carolina, building value uh, on taxpayer, when the, when the taxpayers uh, spend money is building value for the people in, uh, in and across uh, North Carolina. 
certainly first is Davidson County Community College, our prime partner and our host here today. And Mary, thank you so much. The Davidson County Commissioners, uh, thank you for your support throughout this process and also uh, for providing some of the funds to actually, uh, actually make this possible. And the Public Health Department, and I've got to single out Leighton Long because the very first person that we spoke to here in Davidson County uh, was Leighton Long. And Leighton, they are going to miss you here. But we're glad to know that you're a little bit closer to Greenville, North Carolina here. And certainly uh, Davidson uh, Medical Ministries, Sandy Motley, Sandy, thank you. And also I would thank Robert Spencer and Gaston Family Health if, if all that comes, uh, you know, comes to fruition. A great deal of thanks also goes uh, to Robert Powell and his team at Fuquay Solutions. Uh, because without them, we would never have gotten this, this project started. Uh, and they've worked with all of our parties to help, uh, to help craft uh, this partnership uh, and make it happen. A key to our success will be our, the continued enthusiasm which we see here today uh, from the Davidson County and the surrounding counties. And we look forward to providing dental educational opportunities for students and residents and for, and for providing care uh, for the residents of Davidson and the surrounding counties. As I hope you can tell, we really are very excited uh, to be joining you here in Davidson County and your community. And I think when you, I say community, I want you to think of what Dr. Ripley say, said about the most important word in their title, community. As you notice, we say community service learning centers for exactly that, that, same, uh, that same reason. So we're looking forward to providing care for your residents here in Davidson County. So now it's my honor and privilege to uh, introduce uh, Kenan Briggs, who is Executive Vice President and Chief of Staff of the North Carolina Community College System. Kenan? Or did you want to, was I, was I supposed to do that? I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I saw you getting ready to get up here. You know, you see right off the bat when you have to defer to Dr. Rifkin to make sure we're doing this the right way, who's in charge today. <laughs> President Rittling, Chancellor Ballard, Dr. Horns, and Dean Chadwick, Madam Chair from the Trustees and Distinguished Guests, I bring you greetings from Dr. Stuart Fountain, Vice Chairman of the State Board of Community College, and himself a retired dentist and a big supporter of this project. He's sorry he couldn't be here today. And System President Scott Rawls, who also lends his tremendous support on behalf of the system. I'm personally thrilled to be here today for the announcement of the establishment of the first Dr. Mary, if you will, ECU School of Dental Medicine Community Service Learning Center on a community college campus. There's at least 58 of them, but I can tell you that we're in about 160 places throughout the state. But when someone says, this is the first in the community college system, and I hear that a lot, this really is the first, if you will. I want to thank the Chancellor and the entire East Carolina family for making this possible uh, and partnering with the Davidson County Community College and the County Commissioners and the entire community college system. I'll tell you that President Rawls and I often talk about the great partnership that we have with East Carolina. This is emblematic of the relationship we enjoy as a community college system and family with East Carolina throughout the state of North Carolina. They are in our communities and on our campuses and we're greatly appreciative of that fact. But uh, again, I especially want to thank the county commissioners. I'm an old county manager. Uh, I had hair when I was a county manager a long time ago. <laughs> And it takes investments of time and talent and resources to make this happen. And the commissioners have provided that and, and the foundation as well. Lord knows Dr. Mary comes from the ideas too. I'm just glad you all have the money because we don't have the money to do these kinds of things. We do marvel, President Rawls and I from time to time about the incredible pace of accomplishment of this college. It is an incredible pace at which this place moves. It's no small wonder that it moves this fast, if you will, Kim, to tell you the truth, because of the tremendous uh, faculty and staff that you have here. These are great people that, that run this institution. But it's also because of the incredibly strong leadership of the President of the Year in the North Carolina Community College System, Dr. Mary Ritling. I will tell you that. When Dr. Mary, as I call her, puts her mind to something, you either get on board or get out of the way because something's <laughs> going to happen, I can tell you. I think the establishment of this clinical training opportunity for the fourth year students uh, and the patient care opportunities, I I'm married to a healthcare professional, and the patient 
opportunities that this creates uh, bear witness to the commitment of this community and East Carolina University. Go Dr. Mary, this is a great thing, it really is. This community is going to benefit a long time from the establishment of this operation here. William James once said, and I quote, the community stagnates without the impulse of the individual. The community stagnates without the impulse of the individual, but that impulse dies away without the support of the community. And the community support here today bears witness to the willingness of a community to support an innovative idea. Let me just close again by acknowledging the incredible work that's gone on by, by my friend Robert Powell and many, many others to make this a reality. Our friends at East Carolina, the leadership of Davidson County, Davidson County Community College, uh, and others. On behalf of System President Scott Rawls and the entire Community College family, congratulations and I thank you. And unless Dr. Mary has to correct me, let me introduce, please, the Chairman of the Davidson County Board of Commissioners, Sam Watford. Ms. Varner, who's been mentioned here earlier, uh, emailed me a copy of the agenda earlier, and it goes, Dr. 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 Sam, Dr. 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 <laughs> so uh, I'll be brief, <clears throat> no doubt. Thank you to East Carolina University from Davidson County government for allowing us the opportunity to provide support, local support for this project. Initially, through Commissioner Truel and, and Mr. Long and Dr. Davis and the Board of Health who brought this project to us. Progressing onward to uh, infrastructure, to wastewater services, and then finally to site developments is, is what we ended up with. For the access to the dental health care being announced here today, let me also be the first to thank you on behalf of the citizens of Davidson County and the surrounding area some who already face too many economic and health challenges. The health, economic, social, and cultural benefits associated with this center will extend long beyond the short period that we are fortunate enough to live here in this beautiful place that we call Davidson County. Thank you. After five times, you'd think I'd catch on to it. I'm, I'm truly <laughs> proud to introduce Dr. Mark Davis, who serves on the, as a Board of Trustees of Davis County Community College, is also former chairman of the Davis County Board of Health. Dr. Davis. And I believe Senator Stan Bingham came in since we made the announcements. If he'd like to stand up so he can be recognized. He's already standing. Chancellor Ballard, President Ridley, and other distinguished guests. I am honored here to be here for the announcement of the East Carolina University School of Dentistry's Community Service Learning Centers. Little did I know when by chance I met Dr. Chadwick at breakfast at the 2009 American Dental Association meeting what that would lead to. Several weeks following that meeting, Leighton Long, the director of the health department, called and said that Dr. Chadwick had called about the possibility of putting one of the community service centers in Davidson County and what did I think about it. I told him that it would be a great idea and great for the people of Davidson County. He asked where should it be and I told him it needed to be here at the community college. This was the best place to serve all the citizens of Davidson County. We then approached Dr. Ridley and told her of these plans and the potential benefits to the school, the students, and Davidson County and she gave us our utmost support. The health department was already in meetings with the representatives of all the health care providers in Davidson County concerning Davidson Medical Ministries and their difficulties that they were having with meeting their budget and the increased demand for their services because of the economic conditions here. During those meetings, we learned that the number one reason for ER visits to both the Lexington and Thomasville hospitals were dental emergencies. The health department also had concerns with the increased demand for Medicaid and the aging dentists in their pedo clinic. This community service learning center would help address these concerns. The next group were the local dentists, whose dentist-to-population ratio was about half of the national average. 
this was an aging group as four of the 24 dentists in this county were over 80 years old and about half of the dentists in Lexington were at or past retirement age. After discussing the potentials and the benefits of associateships, partnerships, buyouts, and the assistance with Medicaid, they were brought on board. With the health care groups on board, we approached the Davidson County Board of Commissioners and explained the potential economic and health care benefits for the people of Davidson County and required their support with some of the needed infrastructure for building, for building a building here. It is amazing to be part of a project that is such a win-win for everyone. But the real winners here are not these parties, but the people. As East Carolina University sends us their best and brightest to the citizens of Davidson County, and, and after their graduation, to the citizens of Davidson County and the people of North Carolina, the best dental care that will be available. So on behalf of the people of Davidson County, I would like to extend a warm, heartfelt congratulations and welcome to East Carolina University and the School of Dental Medicine. And now I'd like to introduce Beth Parrott, the chairman of our Board of Trustees. Well, I'm kind of like Sam, uh, Dr. Dr. Sam, Dr. and then Beth. So, <laughs> but I, I stand before you today so proud that this has happened. Uh, I've been very fortunate to be a part of this um, long but wonderful process and I can't tell you uh, how excited I am for the citizens of Davidson County. It is a, an exciting day for Davidson County. It, like I said, it's been a great pleasure to work through this process with Dr. Chadwick and his team from East Carolina and with you, Robert, as well. Um, thank you all for your diligence and your determinations to place this fourth year uh, dental school here. It's going to provide a lot of opportunities for Davidson County citizens, but it's also going to provide opportunities for Davidson County Community College as we hope to provide programs that will enhance the dental school when it gets here. And hopefully some of those um, fourth year dental students when they come here will fall in love with Davidson County just as I am in love with Davidson County and come here and be dentist in our community. So with that, we will um, want to help provide staff for that. So thank you very much. Then on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I do want to thank you guys on the um, Board of Commissioners. You have been very helpful. You've been very um, wonderful in this whole process, and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for what you've done here, not just as, um, not just as a board member, but as a citizen of Davidson County. Everybody's going to benefit from this. We're going to benefit health-wise, but we're going to also benefit on uh, scales of economy because we're going to start having staff and faculty from a prestigious university is going to be here in our community, which only brings good things to us. So thank you very much because I think you see the big picture. You saw the big picture with this. Lastly, and certainly not least, thank you, Dr. Mary. My, one of my best friends and one of my mentors. Um, it has, it's a real pleasure to me. I learned so much more from being with her than uh, I could ever provide to this college. She has an outstanding team. She doesn't do it by herself, but she knows how to put the people in place to do it. And um, this team that she has here at the college works so diligently and they are very persistent and they know what they're after and they get it. So thank you, Dr. Mary, for that. Um, we are one of the best colleges and that's what we strive to be. And in my view, we are the best community college. Again, thank you to East Carolina. We look forward to our relationship with you and um, we're ready for you to come. <laughs> and now it's my turn, I guess, and I will introduce Dr. Phyllis Horn again. 
and I'll be extremely brief, but I think you can tell from all of the speakers how contagious the enthusiasm is for this particular project. And like the, uh, like the community college, uh, we at East Carolina University have a lot of help from our trustees as well. And I'd like to welcome Mr. Robert Brinkley, who is one of our trustees. And he, uh, thank you, Robert, for coming. This is a real special day, and I think it means a lot to have our trustees here. Now, we'd like to ask you to carry this contagious nature of this enthusiasm out to the rest of the citizens of this county. So as you are engaging with your family, friends, colleagues, uh, we hope that you will help us to really uh, disseminate throughout this county the enthusiasm for what we're uh, about to accomplish in a real partnership. And Dr. Ritlin, I thank you very much, and, and we will see a lot of each other in the coming months, and, and I'm looking forward to it. At this time, I hope you will enjoy some refreshments, uh, greet and talk with our students from this area, and, uh, and help us to really celebrate the beginning of a great partnership. Thank you very much. <laughs>